Welcome to episode 1 of Smart Farming Times online show where we discuss everything agriculture especially modern farming practices and how they help address modern day farming challenges. I'm open to that. On today's episode we talk to Emmanuel Ming of Hydro Organic Solutions about hydroponics and how it can provide an opportunity to address local import ban of horticultural products. Remember to follow Smart Farming Times on social media platforms. <laughs> Manager of Hydro Organic Solution. Uh, Hydro Organic Solution has formed uh, roughly the first lockdown, young uh, term lockdown in Ohari. Immediately after lockdown, that's when we started operating. So, this company was formed uh, by three directors where uh, they came together to come up with an idea which we believe for it. It was, it was suitable for it. When in this era, we are seeing drastic changing of weather condition. Uh, uh, Botswana or people in the, in the country should focus on what is called a uh, smart fight, okay. wherever you have to plant or, or grow crops from the beginning until harvest. What's now moving in thing? So that's basically where how we started this company and where we are. The, our foundation is aimed at providing Botswana or uh, in Botswana a uh, hydroponic system, and uh, we also do sell uh, uh, seedlings. Hydroponic is called as a soilless technology. Uh, wherever you plant from the beginning until to, to harvest, yeah. Uh, we have different types of farming, different types of hydroponics. The first one we call, we call it the NFT. The second one, under the NFT, we can go under the vertical or the horizontal uh, hydroponics. It's still it's still the NFT hydroponics. Then we have what is called the second uh, technology is called the fodder production. For but while on Baba Tawolema, they should go into this route up the fodder, uh, the fodder systems. The last one is called the dash baguette system. With the dash baguette system, they go upward. They got the green paper, they got the tomato. Tamrogan, uh, it's an NFT system. Normally, we recommend or we advise clients for the crop, for the crop, they are called leafy vegetables. There is one level you have a narrow. There is, or let me say, herbs in general, and also with lettuce and merogoyo. They go under this uh, type of a mega program. If you don't get the NFT system, we plant mostly together 99 percent. That's when they can go under hydroponics. So far, only to much only potato go in the We haven't uh, find a method to introduce it into hydroponics system, but mostly they go under hydroponics. What if when they go under hydroponics? Now the type now the, the type of hydroponics is influenced by the type of crops you want to plant. For example, let's say about the matamati. I cannot advise you all the in this system, but I can give you a hydroponics specialized specialized for tomatoes. If you have the dash baguette system. So how how does it happen for you? Corotine the crops are different, they gonna call what then they perform very well. My hydroponics are level the level the temperature of your plant, or the other temperature in the the level of the EC of a plant, it will conductivity, maybe in shorter the nutrients or a better visual they didn't say. Lastly, look at the pH. That's not the level. We can make an analysis and estimation out if, if, if this family gets a better nutrients, Zabokana, Zabokitan, and Abu Hab, for our rounds in a chocolate movie. It's a little medium female. Only a high female, you know. We cannot put cauliflower under this, it's not going to perform. Because it's a high, a high medium crop. So this chance If you introduce cauliflower inside, you perform very well. So you have grouped them under a, a families. It's a good initiative for us as Batona or Batona as general to engage in this type of farming. Because that's where the future is heading. As much as now, we can also engage in this type of farming. Sooner or later, we are able to produce crops selling Because Muarona doesn't allow us for the Kalima they don't perform well So you find or realize or most of this most of these companies in Botswana, they decide to be with this final product or produce. Go South Africa, but with the with the with the, with the ban or the government ban of some uh, uh, vegetable, this is a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity for Botswana to engage in hydroponic farming. Advantage is hydroponics didn't say uh, number one. Um, they said it's called the fast growth. 
compared to how Lemamumu first grow the raya, first grow it whereby when you are when you are using hydroponics, uh, the ratio at which you harvest uh, or time frame is very quicker compared to the ratio or time frame or harvest how you risa. For example, in hydroponics or a repeated experiment, we have realized that uh, these leafy vegetables they only take four weeks to be harvested. We realize for them, more more they take roughly about three months, but my hydroponics they take a few time. So this thing uh, or another advantage or reason to really be Ghana, maybe God by God by picking the cardinals at that hour. Why this thing it's all about Galileo compared to all the more more. Is because how I'm head of uh, the roots are directed into a nutrient solution, which makes it easy for them to grow. So I didn't stress that or how how I'm a mum dika ipatela, dijalo dika ipatela the nutrients or what. But more the hydroponic system, it becomes very easy because the nutrients and everything are in the right proportion. The second advantage here or I'm a hydroponic school. A hydroponic saves a lot of space. You don't need a for 10 hectares, you don't need for 7 hectares for you to go into a commercial route. Maybe 80 by 20 is still fine for you to go into a commercial route under hydroponics. Because uh, it saves a lot of space compared to how you can use it. So we advise advised by John Hori, go into a backyard and produce hydroponics. For example, the space on the source of this is a mini commercial system. Uh, it's roughly 250, 260 pots. 260 points. We should realize or you are you are close maybe to supply two or three shops with the product so that in someone here. Or of which you are your small area or your small uh, space camera. You can maybe start something small for you now in the future to also go bigger with this hydroponic system. The second advantage area one and the hydroponics. The second advantage, it can be done in any way, Mobutuan. We are having these challenges, Mobutuan. Mm. Uh, the southern district and the northern district uh, there is a uh, poor soils bad weather condition in that area so now but i should go into this hydroponic system because because we have eliminated a uh, poor soil hydroponics hydroponics should be done under a controlled environment that's why we are we are confident that when when this system or when this uh, method of method of farming uh, be taken to other parts of uh, Botswana, they can produce say or say produce like the motor or was a producer of Kaburuni and all different areas. So if they are like or move or move or kalima or kalima or or kwalenti, and how level like that? Or why most people why most people prefer hydroponics is because a hydroponics saves a, 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 a lot of water it saves 98 percent of water in agriculture you lose two you lose water through two processes the first process is called evaporation which in my hydroponics we have we have reduced but not eliminated we have reduced evaporation because evaporation is whereby immediately after on the moon says up within an hour it will populate Sometimes you realize they need to also water in the, in the evening. So with, with hydroponics, we have eliminated that one. Yeah, it makes it make, it loses a lot of water. But we the another process of the plants lose water called is called transpiration, whereby they, they lose through the, the leaves of a plant. So that's the only thing. Uh, as much as much as little. So that's why I think hydroponics saves 90% of water compared to how lima mumu. So your net saves 90% of water. It has less labor. And it's environment friendly. It has chemical. It, the chemicals being used in hydro, in hydroponics, they don't contaminate the environment at all. The only challenge is the one hydroponics. One number one, the setup. The setup is very expensive, but not saying it's very expensive. It has cost, but immediately after the first initial cost, you are going to experience less cost going forth. All the demonstration here. We are trying to demonstrate for it. With hydroponics, for example, here we have herbs, we have edible flowers, we have uh, normal spinach, cabbage, lettuce, uh, garlic chives, and fruits. This one is a fruit, it's called a uh, beer. This is uh, a demonstration. Hour. With hydroponics, it can perform a lot of things. 
Now, the question is, how does it work? For you now to engage in hydroponics, like we are saying, it's a soilless technology. Like we are saying, well, we have to see the roots without no soil inside. So, what thing or the media being used? This media here is called Lega. With Lega, uh, Lega can be recycled or can be used for over 100 years. So, as like I was saying, what the cost? Or we are not going to buy Lega until you are. You, you, you are, you are done now with funding. So immediately you put your seedling inside here. You have to ensure after we lay my in a seedling now. You don't put seeds inside. After we lay my in a seedling now. You have to ensure you wash over the roots. You wash over the roots before we it's nyamote. So this is just to demonstrate what we have washed all the roots of this celery. It's called a celery, this one. We have washed all the soil of this one. So immediately after washing, the, after washing the soil, you put it inside. The the that mm, the importance of a lecker is just a controlling factor, or just there to hold the plant so that it doesn't fall. But you're not so going to solar and what is it in here? You can see how fresh this this herb is. Uh, so probably when you when you plant it in the soil, some say or they are failing to grow it. So that's how you take it. You put it inside like this. Then you put lecker inside. To ensure even when winds come it doesn't fall it's fine like this one then walk out it's more thing more thing more thing is just water this is the control box here uh, this is the control box mm, the control box is there to be to add nutrients inside we add our nutrients inside here. this is just a small pump uh, it uses small electricity i will say like a cell phone charger so we feel this thing maybe once in a in a week is fine because water keeps on circulating, keeps on circulating around here, comes back, keeps on circulating. So uh, now the question is, how much so calculate we are alive? How much so calculate? There's still some, there's still some water inside, inside, inside this pipe, inside this pipe. For our, it can run for over one to two, two days. In some much so calculate? Because I'm going to change into plants because the plants will still be uh, sucking the nutrients, in, sucking the nutrients inside the solution. So for our. It's not a big one. It still can perform very well. Mm, as a country, or maybe as an advice, yeah. I'd say hydroponics is the future. If at all uh, other countries, more, more especially uh, Europeans and uh, few uh, African countries, are, are seeing light in hydroponics, it's necessary for us also as Botswana, for us to uh, find ways to, to invest in, uh, in, in smart farming. Because with smart farming, it has many disadvantages. It has many advantages than disadvantages. As such, it makes it easy. It makes it easy for us as Batona to group and grow economy through hydroponics. If at all, let's say most of Batona engaging in hydroponics, shortage of crops, shortage of plants, which are able to grow in Botswana, uh, we are we are now going to be able to supply ourselves or uh, supply other shops more Botswana without finding a need for us to go across other countries. Mm. For example, of those crops, I'm talking of herbs. I know what it helps all since we started traditional farming. This is the power to go to or maybe unable to produce fresh vegetables. Why can't we find a method that can bring us this herbs more to Why can't we find a method that can be very quick? Why can't we find a method that it, it can give us an advantage of growing from January to December? Non-stop.